Today we're going to talk about the herd dogs in the squirrel family. It's a ground squirrel, restricted to Western North America. There are five different species. Now, Frank Berenger, he's a black tail. You'll find him in New Mexico, Texas, Colorado, Utah, out west, down south. You've also got your white tails. Your white tails, you're going to see them mostly over in Utah. You got a couple other types too. You've got your Utah, your Gunnisons, and your Mexican prairie dog. Oh, now, what's unique about your black tail? Now, Frank doesn't hibernate. Uh, Frank and the Mexican species, they don't like to hibernate, which is uh, not, uh, not surprising since Frank is originally from Brooklyn. He's got to pretty much sleep with one eye open. Prairie dogs and ground squirrels, uh, they basically eat vegetation and seeds and all kinds of different plants and grasslands and stuff like that. They, they will have a little meat occasionally. They're, they they cannibalize their young, which is, you know, we're not going to talk too much about that. Now, white tails, black tails, it doesn't matter what type of species you are. Black tails don't hibernate. The white tails do. The black tails perform a little well-known jump yip call that is absent from all the other species. Black tail and the Utah and the Utah prairie dogs participate in all the grooming, grooming each other like monkeys. The other the other types don't. Now uh, alarm call and territorial calls they're different. Every pattern is different from species to species. Their postures, their similarities and differences are are fascinating and wonderful at the same time. We're going to do a little research of our own and watch this little group of prairie dogs. Let's see what they do. You see those little prairie dog holes there? One, two, three, four. Yeah, the one there all the way on the left of your screen, right in front. That's Frank's hole. Let's see if we can wake him up. Yep. Behringer, wake up. Piece of dirt. How would you like somebody breaking into your neighborhood and knocking on your door saying, Hey, uh, annoying documentary guy, wake up. Uh, right now we're supposed to be uh, quiet and, uh, you know, uh, resting. And then later on we'd all do a little hunting and get some food. You don't even know the habits of the prairie dogs. So. Oh, well, Mr. Berenger, perhaps you could fill us in. Yeah, perhaps you could just get lost. Uh, I don't work for free. Uh, what do you got? Some cream soda? You got something to offer me? Cash? Uh, you know? Uh, you know, I used to be in the mafia, right? In New York. Yes, we've heard such stories. We thought they were just legends. The legends, uh, yeah. Yeah, the mafia doesn't exist. Uh... We'll talk later. You want to release these interviews, uh, you're going to have to do something. Make uh, make some cream soda happen. How about four cases this morning and then we'll talk, all right? All right. I'll, I'll answer a couple of your questions. Hold, hold on a second. Yo, Harold. Harold, you up? Yo. Uh, 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 what's up, boss? Uh, how come we're waking up so early? What's with the cameras? Uh, hey, uh, uh, what's the deal, Frank? Uh, just uh, answer this guy's question. They're from Luigi Tunnel. They're going to leave us like four cases of soda when they leave. Arnold, what do you think? Am I Harold or am I Arnold? You always call me both. I don't know, your real name is Arnold, but I call you Harold because it's a cooler stage name. Arnold is kind of dorky, but Harold is kind of cool. Oh, that, yeah, that's right. What's up with Poindexter? Is he here? Uh, let's, just, let's just wake him up. Here I am. Oh, uh, cool. Poindexter. Poindexter. Uh, everybody's here. Joe. Arnold. I mean, well, Harold. Uh, Poindexter. And me, Frank. Uh, yeah, uh, the four of us are neighbors. We call these adjoining prairie dog holes. It's kind of like, uh, 
how would you say this? Um, think of it as like these four prairie dog holes is like an apartment building, and each one of us got our own apartments. Now mine, my hole, if you look down there, it's very, very deep. You, you, you can see there's all kinds of different passages and tunnels there. Now, a big Joe's hole is kind of wide and stocky because he's a big guy and he, and he don't have that many uh, hobbies and stuff. He don't need too many rooms. So he's got his one big room down there and he just lays down and chills out. Right, Joe? Um, right, boss. Right. And, uh, but Poindexter, he's more like a computer nerd. <laughs> Yeah, I, I love computers. I have two laptops now. Yeah, he's got two laptops. He's, he's a hacker. He's what you call a hacker. Uh, and uh, he's, uh, you know, there, there's some different flags up on him. Uh, the government's got, you know, but uh, his secret hacker name I can't really reveal to you. But uh, I'll tell you this. Uh... That whole uh, thing with the prairie dogs and the bubonic plague that happened. Uh, uh, well, guess who cured that? That was him. He uh, he, he isolated that and uh, basically saved the whole population of blacktails. That wasn't a human that did that. So uh, thank you uh, for your ingenuity and in innovation there, uh, Poindexter. Oh, uh, you're welcome me at your service, Frank. Anything for the PD community? That's right, PD. Well, uh, the PDC, the Prairie Dog Coalition. That's where you would want to, like, give money. You you could go online. Uh, they got that, what do you call, humanitarian uh, business, where humans, when they feel, like, guilty for having too much money or whatever, they like to give money to us. That's where you give. Uh, it's called the... the the PDC Prairie Dog Coalition of the uh, the Humane Society of uh, United States or something like that. The Humane Society, H humane. That's funny, right? Humane is human is supposed to be the same as humane, like uh, with compassion and all that and this and that. Let me tell you something. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll admit some of us prairie dogs we do eat our young. What they call that infanticide or something like that. But that's like a natural kind of thing that happens sometimes. Like, you know, the mothers, they need their protein and this and that. They, they have lots of babies. And, and sometimes some of them don't really survive. So, you know, the, those little ones wound up, you know, being like food for for the mom. That's, that's all natural stuff, you know. But uh, we don't go around, you know, setting bombs and, and uh, what do you call it, uh, blowing stuff up and uh, shooting people and... Hey, uh, boss, uh, I thought you used to be in the mafia. You used to shoot people all the time and blow stuff up all the time, right? Uh, yeah. Well, that's besides the point. But anyway, I don't want to make no political speech because... You know, in general, uh, Mr. Luigi Tunnels the, out there, your prairie dogs are not political. Our main concern, generally, is finding food, protecting our young from predators. Did you know that all of us prairie dogs, we got different calls that our uh, enemies are? When they start coming around, uh, we, we do this yip yip, and we jump up and we sound the alarm and stuff. And I, I seen this video where, like, uh, well, the prairie dogs, they they, uh, they chased the, uh, the the snake into the hole, right? And then when he went in the hole, they, they filled the hole full of dirt, you know, with their, their, their back legs, you know, the way the dogs do that burying thing. And then they, uh, they buried him alive. That's crazy, right? They got back at him. They, they buried this disgusting snake alive. I mean, I don't like them. They're disgusting. I, I, I'm a little racist. Racist, I'll admit it. And they ain't got no legs. They're scary. It's like the number one like prairie dog phobia. Did you know that? I hate them. They're disgusting. I'm sorry. I know I'm supposed to spread positivity and this and that or whatever. Uh, Poindexter, what's the matter? Uh, hey, boss, uh, uh, they got a right to live too, you know. 
Yeah, yeah I, I, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's not get into that. We're talking about our species and the, right now. The, the black tail, right? The black tail. Hey, black tail's high. We ain't talking about no Mexican prairie dogs or no Utah prairie dogs or Ghana's prairie dogs. <sighs> Ghana's prairie dogs are weak. I, I never met one Ghana's prairie dog that I liked. Have you? Actually, I work with this one Ghana. He's all right. This guy named Simon. I... I always see him at the microwave at work. He generally makes me a cup of tea without me even asking. He's, he's a pretty nice guy. Yeah, well, uh, what are you trying to say? I'm a racist or something? Well, well uh, a little bit, Frank. You just said all gunner prairie dogs are this or that. Uh, um, well, if you're a prairie dog, you're okay in my book, all right? Utah prairie dogs, you got your, uh... Your black tails, your Utahs, your whites, you got your Mexicans. Let me tell you, there's a lot of racism in prairie dogs. I'm going to tell you the five type now, right? I'm sure. You mean the five species of prairie dogs? That's it, exactly. All right, the first one is your black tails. That's us. We, we, they, they, we, they call us the blacks. We basically, uh, us and the Mexicans, we're the only ones that like to hibernate. I mean, uh, that don't like to hibernate. So all the other ground squirrels and prairie dogs, they be hibernating, right? But the Mexicans and the blacks, we don't like it, you know? We got black tails and we're proud of it. We ain't hibernating. You think I'm afraid of anybody? I'm not, I'm not sleeping all winter? You crazy? It's a lot of money to be made, a lot of food to collect. There's a lot of stuff to do in the winter, man. That's when my business is the busiest, man, around Christmas. No way, I ain't hibernating. So your black tails is, is your number one type, okay? That's the type, like, I, you know, I'm that, and my friends too. They're all black tails. You also got your white tail prairie dogs, all right? Uh, personally, I, I, I never met one that I got along with the white tail. But uh, the black tails are a little more soulful. They're a little bit more like, you know, down to earth. You know, they're, they're the ones I like to talk to, basically. The third type is called your gunner's prairie dog, all right? They're spoiled. They're rich. They're all spoiled. They all come from the big cities. They think they're real elite and sophisticated. That's your typical, typical gunner's prairie dog. So, you're not a fan of gunner's prairie dogs? I, I did not say that. I'm just saying they tend to be a little different from us. Go on. Yeah, you got your, you got your black tails, you got your white tails, you got your gunner, then you got your Utah prairie dogs. Utah prairie dogs, they don't even know what they want to be. They, they're just like prairie dogs that I happen to know have all been very, very fine people. Uh, they're really the only other species that don't hibernate just like us, like us black tails. So we got a little in common. Uh, generally in the winter when all the other prairie dogs are just like sleeping and prayer, you know, where do you do that, hibernating? I'll be taking a train home and that's all I'll see is Mexican guys, you know. They got these jobs late at night or something, you know. I, uh, I talked to a few on the way home, you know, like riding the train. And, and honestly, they're all pretty cool. I like them. What? What? Are you saying I'm racist? The different species have different, uh, what do you call it? Uh, they have different things uh, that they do, you know, like different traits. And it's just a fact of life, all right? It's, they're, they're different. You know, read some Wikipedia. Yeah? Don't be ignorant, all right? All right, let me take you guys on a tour. I'm going to take you down uh, stairs inside one of my prairie dog holes. All right, all right, come on. Follow, follow me, all right? All right, all right. Uh, I just come in. Uh, all right, this is a prairie dog hole. This is a friend of mine. His name is Ernesto. He throws the most amazing parties. Dude, this black tail. Dude, he, he's crazy. This guy throws. Hey, how you doing, sweetie? Oh, you've been dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll talk to you later. Right? I'll talk to you later. Uh, 
they throw fantastic parties. That's all I can say. Uh, they got some parties here. The parties are crazy here. Uh, look, uh, Ernesto just said he don't want me letting those uh, humans in with the cameras and stuff. They, they, they got some gambling here and stuff or whatever, some card games. He's afraid of getting popped, right? But dun, da, da, dun, 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 da, da. they got great parties. Trust me, the prairie dog holes are where it's at. The rabbits all come in here. The moles, muskrats, they be coming for miles for the prairie dog parties. Ah. Now you come through this other tunnel, come through here, right. come through here, right through, yeah, just like that, deal, deal. Yo, you following me, alright, come on in, alright, this is Freddy's place, Freddy's got like this double hole, it's kind of like shaped like a Y, it's hard to explain, there's two entrances, and then they both go down to the same like long thing. And then they go down this long pipe, and then when you get down to the bottom, there's this kind of like, I don't know, maybe four or five foot room, square, but it's not really square, it's more like round. Uh, uh, um, anyway, this is where they have band practice, there's all kinds of studios in here, like what they call rehearsal studios. Uh, this is where Frankie and uh, the boys go to rehearse. Uh, right now, as you can hear, there's a, uh, a heavy metal band playing. It's not exactly my kind of music, but uh, there are rehearsal studios in here. Now, as you move down to this side over here, you've got a little lounge area. Uh, there's a few people hanging out here. They probably don't want me to uh, say who they are, but uh, oh, oh, oh. Look, it looks like we got a problem in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, hold, I gotta take care of this problem. Conan in everywhere. Where's the Conan? Here's the Conan. Here's the Conan now. Where's the Conan? Here's the Conan. Where's the Conan now? Conan, Conan, Conan in your prairie dog hall. Yeah, we get a lot of these things down here. They're, they're like, you know how you use humans have rats or roaches? We get Conan O'Briens. They're these cat dogs. No! I want to stay! Yeah, they play that stupid theme song and they annoy you and, and you can't get nothing done. Ugh! Yeah, get out. Get this thing out of here. <coughs> oh, finally. Uh, Poindexter, it's gone. I got it. He's gone. Uh. You sure, Frank? Frank, where are you? You in here? I took care of it. It's dead. It's not dead. It's just it. It fell down the, the mountain or something like that. It, it's it's very far. Where where are you, Frank? I'm down in the. In, I'm in Freddy's hole. Fred? Oh, uh, yeah, the double hole? Yeah, yeah, just go down, go down further. More, more. You left, I'm right here, bro. Dude, I'm right in front of your face. Yeah, I need to adjust my prescription, Frank. Yeah, all right, look, we gotta finish this here interview. There's these Luigi Tunnel guys out there with a camera. The only reason I agreed to do this is because they got these here uh, four cases of cream soda. I'm talking big cases, the, not not those little, like, four 12-packs, like the big cases that the, the shops get. Yeah. So we got a lot of soda coming. We're, we're going to be good, you know? All right, Frank. When are they leaving? I, I don't know. I thought maybe the Conan would scare them away, but it didn't. What, what can we do? Maybe Big Joe can do something and tell him to leave or something. That ain't gonna work. Hold on a second. Big Joe. Big Joe, you wanna help out? Uh, what, do you, what do you want, Frank? All right, here's the deal. Uh, we got a bunch of human reporters out there 
these humans all want to take pictures and ask us about prairie dogs and stuff, and then we're going to get a cream soda, but uh, we're all tired of them. We want them to leave so we can just hang out, you know? Uh, why don't you ask them to leave, boss? Uh, uh, you want to do that for us? Uh, yeah, sure, hold on. Uh, the human dude. Uh, you just mind leaving so we can drink the cream sodas and, uh, you know, hang out and do prairie dog stuff? Oh, I see. Would you like to end the interview here? Uh, what does that mean, boss? Tell him, yeah, tell him, yeah. Y yes! Surely. May I ask you maybe two or three parting questions? Say yes. Yes. Thank you, Joe. As a prairie dog, do you have a message for young prairie dogs who are just trying to get into the, uh, the business, show business? You know, making videos and singing and dancing like, uh, you know, Frankie and the Moonlighters? Uh, advice? Uh, for young prairie dogs? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I slicked my hairs back like this, you know. I was a little bit bigger than all the other kids in school, you know. They called me Big Joe and then I used to go home and cry because of that. Because I was fat and taller, a little bigger than the other kids. And they didn't know, you know. They thought I was this big bully and, and they was all scared of me and this and that. But actually, I was just big. I wasn't a bully. I was scared. And uh, they all called me Big Joe, and uh, it used to hurt my feelings. So uh, I, I, I used to go home and listen to those Elvis records, and um, he used to make me feel big. I used to feel strong and big and dance around, rock and roll, and I would slick my hair back like this and do a little grease. You know, a little prairie grease, and it's, I would sing a hound dog. You ain't nothing but a prairie hound dog. Prairie all the time. And I would sing, and he would make me feel so cool that the singing really was the only thing that made me happy. And then one day, Frankie, uh, Frankie B discovered me, and uh, that was that. So, uh, what, what I can say is, uh, be nice to the other prairie dogs, and don't call them no names, and um, keep singing. If you like Elvis or whoever you like, it's good to sing along to the records and to the radio and stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. That was a fantastic answer. It's very eloquently put. Thank you very much. As a matter of fact, we're going to forget the rest of the questions. I know you guys uh, you don't hibernate, but you have a lot of things to do. And it's January, I'm sure you have a lot of uh, food to collect and things like that. Uh, speaking of food, uh... Oh yes, the cream soda. It's, uh, it's on the way. Uh, they should ring your bell uh, at the end of the uh, video. So, uh, as soon as the, uh, the doorbell rings, just let the guy in, okay? Uh, okay. So, uh, is we finished? Uh, I suppose so. It was nice to meet you. Uh, bye, Frank and, uh, and Harold, Poindexter, Joe. It's a pleasure to meet you guys. I love your music. Big fans. Big fans. Yeah. Thanks, humans. Bye. Oh, that's, that's the soda. Let him in. Let the guy in. Yeah, give the guy a tip or something. Anybody got a dollar, two dollars? Like, give him like, give him like three bucks or something. It's raining out. Here you go. Yeah. Uh, thanks a lot, Pa. Thanks. Just leave it by the hole. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. And if you guys like the Prairie Dog Holes and uh, you generally just like this channel, or you're a fan of nature programs or any of that there stuff. Uh, or uh, a fan of Joe and, and uh, any of us, uh, Frankie and the Moonlighters, uh, 
drop a like, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, we like that. And even better, drop a little commentio there, you know, give us a little comment, like saying, Oh, I like this there, or I like this that there, you know. Because uh, we, we like sitting down there at the breakfast table, reading the comments and this and that, you know. It's kind of cool. Uh, oh, yeah, I got to go to cream sodas here later.